Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Time Traveling Carl. <laughs> time Traveling Carl. <laughs> Let's go back in time. Back in time. Let's go back in time yeah. to stop a crime. If only we could. Because Adam and Eve are about to make an unwise job. Oh, no. But hey. Carl, I, I like the, it rings a nice ring to it. Time yeah. Traveling Carl. I, I know. Yeah. I, I mean, that's not my name. There's only... Time traveling Thomas and Carl, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. Okay? <laughs> well, let's do it. Come on. Yeah, so Carl, last week we were introduced to the serpent or the deceiver. We learned that he, the Satan, used to be a friend of God, but because of pride, he sinned against God. Now he wanted for Adam and Eve to do the same thing sin against God and, and fail just as he failed. So lame. So lame. So lame. So lame. So not good. No, it's not, so good, not at good. good at all. Not good at so, all. So, Carl, today, 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 we're going to learn about temptation. I don't even know what that means, but I can tell you right now, I don't like the sounds of it. You're on, you're on to something. You're on something right. All right. Tem- temptation is when something or someone tries to get us to do something that we know we shouldn't do. Well, we have bust out the old logos and... Go See check out some it. of this temptation dynamics. Yeah, <laughs> only one way to find out. All right, let's do it. <laughs> get our logos live fired up and get this thing going. All right, All buddy, right. let's go. Loading. Get the logos. Loading. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. Back in Eden. So beautiful. So beautiful. So Carl, in Genesis 3, 6, it says, When the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Oh no! They ate the forbidden fruit? They, 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 they sinned against God? Yeah, Carl, that just happened. Uh, you know, you know, we all have parents, and we, we, ha- we are to obey our parents. Do you know why this is important, Carl? So we don't get hurt? That's right, Carl. Our parents love us, so they give us wise instruction so that we don't get hurt. It's important for us to learn to be obedient so that when we grow up, when God speaks to us, we obey Him because we love Him and He wants the best for us. Wow, sometimes there are things that seem good and they seem fine, and even though they might look amazing, but we always need to trust God because God knows what is best for our whole lives and not just for us to be like happy for just like a couple minutes. Yeah, exactly. Carl, that's exactly it. You get it. Well, you know what, Carl? Let's pray and ask God if He would give us the grace to be good listeners and obedient children so that our lives will go well, so that we would be blessed. This sounds like an opportunity for a Declaration. Did you just say declaration? I sure did. All right, let's declare this together. Let's do it. All right, kids, you ready? Jesus. Jesus. We love and trust you. We love and trust you. Give us the grace. Give us the grace. To obey you forever. To obey you forever. And not be tricked. And not be tricked. By the deceiver. By the deceiver. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So good. So good. So good. So good. We can just trust Jesus. We sure can. That's right. Can I tell you something? What's up, Carl? Yeah, I got a feeling that God's not going to be very happy that they ate of that tree. Well, I guess we'll have to find out next week. Next week, kids. Come back. Time traveling Thomas and Carl. But first. But first. Let's get a blessing from Mr. Mr. M. Moses. Mr. Moses, right, let's Mr. go Mr. to you. All on. right. All right, see you kids later. Goodbye, kids. I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his 
face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.